What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how you can use the plugin installation add-on that Apex offers for your server. Before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of every new tutorial we upload, just like this one. One of the best parts about Minecraft is the ability to customize it past the normal vanilla experience. And plugins are just the way to do this. With plugins, you can add all sorts of custom features to your server, such as minigames, game modes, commands, and more. Here at Apex, our team has created many pre-made game modes and minigames that you can install with just one click. However, maybe you want to create your own custom server. Installing your own plugins can be pretty easy, but there can be some complications to it, such as plugin versions, dependency plugins, configuration, and more. Setting up groups is one of the sections in server development that gives many people trouble. And that's why we've created the plugin installation add-on. With this add-on, you're able to send us a list of plugins, along with rank configurations for up to five different groups. And we set it up for you. This is also going to enable us to assist in the configuration of Dynemap, Bungie Cord, and Voter for Config. In this guide, we're going to be breaking down how you can get the add-on and how to use it. Please don't forget folks that mods and plugins aren't compatible with each other. The only way to have both is if you're running a 1.7.10 or 1.6.4 mod pack that's running Thermos or Cauldron. You can find our guide on installing those linked below the video. And don't forget folks that the plugin installation add-on comes priced at $15. When you're ordering the plugin installation add-on, you're going to see it as an option during the checkout process. Once you click on order now, it's going to take you to the configure your server page, whereupon scrolling down, you're going to see the plugin installation add-on priced at $15. Please select this one to proceed. The process is a little bit different if you already own your server. If you already own your server, you're going to want to head to the main Apex web page and then click on billing at the top right of the page. From there, you can drop down to services. And once you're on the services page, you can go to the left side of the page and select View Available Add-ons. This will take you to the Product Add-ons page, and then from the Product Add-ons page, you can locate and select the plugin installation. This will take you to the checkout page, where upon going through the checkout process, you're going to receive an email with instructions on how to proceed. Once you get that email, you can go to Billing on the official Apex web page to proceed. From the billing web page, you're going to want to jump into tickets. And then from tickets, you can click on open ticket. And then on this page, you're going to see a bunch of different options for tickets. You're going to want to click on plugin installation add-on. This is going to be the page where you input all of your information. We're going to select our game version first. Our server is going to be on 1.12.2. Once you decide on your server version, you can go ahead and look for links that lead directly to the web page of the plugin you would like us to install. We recommend that you grab links from trusted websites such as Bucket or Spigot. As you can see here, we have Essentials X loaded up. I'm going to go ahead and copy that link and then head back to the open ticket page and then paste the link into the link list. Same thing with Coolag, we're going to copy that link and then paste it into the link list. Same thing with World Guard, we're going to copy that link and then paste it in. And then with World Edit and Timber, we're going to do the same thing. And don't forget, folks, that when you're selecting your plugin, you want to make sure that you're getting the compatible version for your server. Our server is on 1.12, so we want to make sure that that's what we get for the server. Also, some plugins require dependencies, such as World Guard, which won't work without World Edit. So make sure that you click on Relations and then Dependencies when you're on the plugin page. And now that we've gotten links to all the plugins and their dependencies, we can go ahead and start our permission groups. A permission group is a certain group of permissions for a certain group of users on your server. The permissions show up as plugins on the left, and then the right part is what the plugin command actually does. So this one will set the spawn for the player, and then the bottom one will set the home for the player, and then the middle one will TP the user home. And this is going to be the default group, and we're sure of it, so we're going to go ahead and copy the entire thing, and then press Enter a couple times to make a new line. And then we're going to paste it in. Let's go ahead and call this group user. 
This is going to be the group that you join after you become a default user on the server. Is this a default group? No, this won't be the default group. So you can go ahead and change that. Is this group allowed to build? Yes. We also want to make sure that we change the prefix in chat to user. So that's what they show up as in chat. Let's also make sure that the chat color is different than the default color. It starts off as white, so let's go ahead and change it to something like blue. We're going to be adding about five new permission nodes per group from the official permission node page for essentials. Once we're on this node page, we're going to go ahead and look for five new permissions to add to the user group. Let's say that we want users to be able to pay, pay multiple users, sell, sell items, set worth for items, and check the worth of items, we're going to go ahead and copy all five of these permissions and then paste them to the user group. Once you're back on the permissions group part of the page, you can go ahead and press enter and then press a couple spaces and then add a dash and then add another space and then paste in your commands. You're going to need to clean them up, but you can also just paste them in one by one if you don't want to clean them up like this. And then once they're cleaned up, make sure there aren't any spaces after, and then go ahead and add a couple spaces before, and then add a dash, and then add another space, and then do the same for the rest of the lines. And now we're going to make sure that we're inheriting from the past group. This will have it so that on top of the permissions that you added, the users will also inherit the permissions from the previous group. Once you've set that, you can go ahead and copy the entire permissions list, and then press enter twice, and then paste it in. We're going to go ahead and make our next group the VIP group. We're also going to make sure that they're not the default group and that they're allowed to build. Also, that their prefix shows up in chat. We're also going to change their color so that it's different from everybody else, something like red. We're also going to make sure that they inherit from the last group that we made. And then we're going to add five new permissions for this group. Maybe one of the benefits you want your users to have is nicknames. Right here, we're going to allow users to add nicknames, and then this will allow users to color nicknames. This will allow them to format their nicknames. This will allow them to use the matrix or magic colors for their nicknames. And then this will allow them to add nicknames to other users, perhaps a friend or another such user. Let's go ahead and copy these, and then once they're copied, we can go ahead and head back to the permissions group page and then clean everything up. You can just delete all the extra mess and then press space twice, add a dash, and then another space, and then repeat for the following commands. Once you clean everything up, you're going to have your new VIP group for your server. Though, let's add another user group by highlighting the entire thing and then copying it, and then hitting enter after, and then pasting it in again. Scrolling to the top, we're going to change the name to admins. This isn't going to be the default group, and they're definitely going to be allowed to build, so let's go ahead and change the prefix so that it shows up as admin in chat. Let's also change the color, maybe something special, such as green. And then scrolling down, we're going to make sure that they inherit from the previous group. Since admins are going to be moderating the server, let's go ahead and put in some moderation tools for the admins. For this example, we're going to be adding in a couple of ban commands. We're going to be adding ban, which will allow admins to ban other users. We're going to be adding ban exemptions. We're also going to be making sure that some users are notified. And we're going to make sure that the ban offline command works. We're also going to be making sure that we can ban IPs. Here, we're going to add them in one by one. And once you've added the five, you can go ahead and copy the entire thing and then scroll down and then make a new line and then paste once again so that we can make the owner group. We're going to go ahead and change the group name to owner and make sure that we change the prefix to owner. And then we're going to make the color something different, like yellow, as in gold. We're also going to make sure that they inherit from the admin group. And just like before, we're going to head back to the essentials page and copy five commands that we'd like to add, one by one. And once they're all added in, 
we're going to end up having one, two, three, four, and five groups for our server. Once we've added them all in, we can go ahead and verify that we're not robots and then submit. Adding plugins to your server is the perfect way to customize it. Although knowing all the small details when adding them is a different story. And that's why with this add-on, you can have our staff do it for you. With our expertise, you're just one step away from having your dream server. Well folks, that's all I've got for you today. I wanna to thank you for using an Epic server and I wanna thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. As always, I hope you have lots of fun.